I was brought into this abuse right after birth, and it was from the Italian side of my family. Um, I had an, an uncle who ran a secret facility underground in the outskirts of Rome where they do torture and experiments and this kind of thing. So I was initiated right after birth. Sometimes he would come to the countries I was living in. I grew up in a bunch of countries. And sometimes I would be taken to Italy. And when I was 14, I lived there full time. So that was the primary person and within the facility and the Vatican. So uh, there, there were four things, uh, ritual abuse, um, sex trafficking, torture, and experiments. So when I say torture, um, I mean things like electric shock, um, being buried alive with dead bodies, um, being put in isolation chambers, uh, having to watch animals and people be tortured in front of me and killed, um, being put in a freezer or in very extreme environments, um, being left uh, in cages for periods of time with no food and water, things like this. And of course, rape uh, and any kind of physical um, violence. Um, the trafficking occurred out of the Vatican and also just among the VIPs in Italy and uh, to my memory of uh, some countries around as well. Um, the, uh, the ritual abuse would be a variety of things um, like being uh, rituals being put in a coffin when I was two years old and left overnight in a church uh, rituals of gang rape, um, rituals of uh, being impregnated and then taking the baby almost at term out of me to be used in rituals also. Um, these elite parties, hunting parties where myself and other children are taken and then hunted, um, having to watch children be sacrificed in the sub levels of the Vatican. Um, cut open while they're alive, watching them drink the children's blood and, and eat their organs. Um, that's Those are for some of the ritual abuses. And then the experiments were what I know today uh, to be sort of MK Ultra monarch things with, you know, with helmets, with wires coming out and having to watch certain virtual things and being, um, you know, my body being experimented on. So those are kind of the kinds of things that I went through from birth to age 18. Yeah, so the main locations where I was tortured uh, was in the, the secret facility. Um, this facility did connect with underground tunnels to the sub sub levels of the Vatican. There's levels way down under the ground where they have the special altars and, and all that. Um, so mainly it would be in the facility, in the Vatican itself. And then with the trafficking, it would be to any kind of elite members in the area. So sometimes I would be in, in people's homes, um, you know, big mansions and places like that. So in my case and in many other people's case, they start right after birth. So you don't really have a choice when you're that young. Um, it's just done to you. Um, in my case, they broke attachment with my mother right in the beginning. Um, and then after that, it was really by, by force and uh, by, by having no choice. Uh, some of the things I was made to do were also uh, psychological and and you know like uh, deciding who is going to die this person or this person, and so under duress you know if you say no I'm not going to choose then they both die so being put in positions like that so I would just say by fear and by force there were a lot of attempts to to break me I heard very early on. I overheard a conversation where this was the intent, 
So I did my best to preserve myself internally. I built a wa walls around and I kept myself. Um, I always had the idea in my head that, you know, you will not uh, destroy me because that's what I understood. Um, but yes, every attempt was made with technology, with torture and because during the torture, I, I would dissociate and, and, you know, split, but I never did split into distinct personalities. So later, I, when I did my healing work, I was able to integrate what I call the different parts of me that existed. So I would say for me, there's two things that uh, were maybe the, the worst experience in the beginning, being born and having the uh, rituals done to break the attachment between my mother and myself. So, so I never had, so my mother was not able to take care of me. And in fact, she would, she had alters, so she would become quite violent. So not having a safe, loving bond with either parent uh, is something that still affects me today. And I would say the other worst thing for me was watching children be sacrificed in the Vatican, watching them be brought in and watching them be cut open and watching all the VIP people in the room uh, receiving, they do these sacrifices to invite demonic entities to inhabit them. And I was able to feel and see these entities also. And that was for me to see evil itself. It was something that also still haunts me to this day. Yeah, so the reason that I uh, have given testimony of my experiences, and I'm doing so here as well, is because every day right now as we're talking, children are being put through these things and this has to stop. And so these people, these psychopathic, pedophile, Satanist elites, they have succeeded with secrecy and deception. So when we begin to give testimony and tell our stories and tell the truth of what is actually being done to children, then we have a hope of ending this forever. And the other piece I will say is everything they've done to us on some level, they have done to the whole of society. And so, for example, they have done global satanic rituals like 9-11 and COVID. And so we all need to understand the way that we are being managed and, and traumatized and dissociated and mind controlled so that we can we can heal ourselves we can come together and we can say no and we can go forward and create a, a way forward that that is good for all life.